We are headed on a road trip. We're gonna have seven nights in our pop-up camper. We are now on day three of our family road trip adventure. We've just left the beautiful Autrain River behind us. We are now making a stop in Munising at the western end of Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. The Pictured Rocks cliffs are a breathtaking sight, towering between 50 to 200 feet above the lake. These sandstone cliffs stretch for about 15 miles from Sand Point on the west to just after Spray Falls on the east. This is the trail down to Miner's Castle, one of the most iconic landmarks in Pictured Rocks. Rested. Miner's Castle was named for its resemblance to a castle turret. Over the years, erosion has shaped these cliffs. The cliffs of pictured rocks are named for their vibrant colors, which come from the minerals in the rock. Iron gives the cliffs their red and orange hues, copper adds greens and blues, and manganese contributes to the black streaks. Next, we're headed on down the road to Miner's Falls. This hike is just over a mile round trip over a relatively easy hiking trail that has been well maintained. It is a serene and calming walk with benches to rest along the way to take in the sights and sounds of the forest around you. If you are unable to do stairs, there is a viewing platform at the top where you have a limited view of the waterfall below. As we descend the stairs, we are greeted with a full view of Miner's Falls, which cascades about 40 feet over a sandstone cliff. I do want to point out there is no official trail down to the waterfall where you see us here, but if you have really good footwear and some climbing ability, you can climb down underneath the viewing platform. Smile. Drunk picnic. <laughs> Heading back to the town of Munising, we stopped at the visitor center, which is also where you can see Munising Falls, which drops about 50 feet over a sandstone cliff.
The falls are very accessible with the paved 800 foot trail leading up to a cool shaded canyon along Munising Creek to the base of the falls. There are three separate viewing platforms at different elevations offering spectacular views of the waterfall. I'm told this falls is available for viewing at all times of the year, so I bet this is really pretty in the winter as well. And then we were back on the road again for a two hour drive between Munising and our next campsite. I had originally planned on stopping at Oswald Bear Ranch, home to about 40 rescued black bears. Unfortunately, by the time we stopped at the grocery store in Newberry, it was after four and they close at five. So we elected to just keep on moving to our campground. We made it to our spot in Tacomanon. It was a little confusing trying to figure out which spot um, for our, like, our campground. There's so many campgrounds, but I'll show you our spot. It's really nice. Unfortunately, the neighbor is going to be a little close to us, but hopefully it's just a small tent. Um, but yeah, we have this whole site here, which is beautiful. We have the river with the fishing platform is right across from us. We're at the end of a loop. And look at this beautiful sight. Huge trees. Horace has disappeared into the woods picking blueberries. There's blueberries everywhere all in here. And we have all this privacy back here. It's really nice. We cannot see even our next neighbor over there. So uh, just kind of depends. Hopefully that person that comes in is quieter. Or maybe they have a bunch of kids that Forrest can play with play with. Yeah, really nice. Nice fire pit. For dinner tonight we're going to do a little bit of chicken breast with uh, chicken and broccoli rice. Um, it's real simple, I hope. I haven't done it, but it should be real simple. I have some chicken that was already diced up. I'm going to saute that and then I'm going to pour just this these are rice sides, cheddar broccoli, and I'm going to put two packs of this, add four cups of water because I don't have any milk, um, and then probably put a little bit of butter in there and put the lid on and hopefully it'll be pretty good. much actual broccoli in here so that's a little disappointing I guess I would add broccoli if if uh, I was doing it again how's it taste good after a long drive how is it <laughs> Take a tent shower. We'll see if it works.
Good morning. <clears throat> Been up for a little while. I have the bathroom duties, brushing my teeth, all of that fun stuff. Currently making breakfast. Forrest and Josh just went to go do some fishing. We're making some sausage patties and scrambled eggs, and we'll probably eat them in tortillas. It did rain in the night, um, so we had been warned when we checked in that there's a fox around that likes to steal everything, so we had already put everything inside, so that was okay. It was kind of nice to hear the sound of the rain on the camper. Um, it's been sprinkling off and on. It's rather gray at the moment, so um, I need to check the forecast again. When I looked last night, it's supposed to rain um, tonight around 10 p.m., um, but I haven't checked it yet this morning to see if there's an update. But, uh, yeah, I guess kind of adjusting our itinerary, I guess, based on the weather. Um, we're either going to go look at the upper and lower Tequamanon Falls, or we're going to go to the Shipwreck Museum, um, depending on rain forecast, which we're going to do first, I think. So, um, yeah, it's actually nice out, though. I was very uh, thankful to be able to take a shower last night. So we set up this um, pop-up pod here and then strung a rope down with the solar shower. And I just put um, hot water in there mixed with the cold water and uh, Josh helped. So we're gonna have to figure out like a way to have a valve at the end of the hose because as of right now, there's the shutoff valve is actually at the bag. So then when you loop the hose through, there's no way to actually shut it off, which doesn't really make sense. But um, so we have a little bit of uh, rigging to do on that yet, but definitely was nice to take a shower last night. It was my first shower in like three days. So, um, and then Josh actually took his bike and rode all the way to the showers here, which were a madhouse last night. Um, we went and checked out the, the modern campground here and I don't, I guess I'm not knocking anybody else. I just don't understand why people want to camp that way. It was literally like, you couldn't even tell whose campsite started where they were just packed right in there. There was everybody had like lights everywhere and it was loud and you couldn't even hardly breathe. There was so much campfire smoke. So i um, very glad that uh, we got this campsite. At first when I first got here I thought they were kind of packed in but after seeing that uh, they're not packed in here too bad. We do have our one neighbor that is just right there so that is a lot closer than I thought it was going to be when I booked this campsite. I thought it was going to be a little more private but um, compared to that this is great. So I just checked the forecast and it is now showing lightning storms from uh, 3 to 10. <laughs> so that is really going to put a damper on our plans for the day. Um, when Josh gets back we'll have to discuss and see what we want to do. We are here at the Upper Falls of Dequaminon, about 17 miles, I think, from our campsite. So um, with the impending rain, we figured we'd just come here first and then make our way down and um, kind of see what the weather, what the weather for cast turns out to be. Ready to hike a little bit? <laughs> We're all not awake yet, so this will help wake us up. One thing that I thought was really nice is that the park service actually has wheelchairs right here for people to use to help make it more accessible to everyone. The Upper Falls is the largest waterfall in Michigan. 
and one of the largest east of the Mississippi River. The falls are approximately 200 feet across and drop approximately 48 feet over a sandstone cliff. I try. <laughs> The water here is a unique brown color, often referred to as Root Beer Falls due to the tannins leached from the cedar swamps that the river drains. This gives the falls their distinctive hue. We are here in the summer season, but I'm told that in the spring, over 50,000 gallons of water flow over the falls each second during the spring runoff, making it even more powerful and awe-inspiring sight. In my opinion, it's worth all the steps to take to get to different viewing platforms so you can see these amazing falls from all the different angles. So we are now at the lower falls. It's starting to rain just lightly. I had hoped that would deter the crowds, but actually when we got here, the whole parking lot was full. <laughs> we couldn't even find a place to park. Um, but maybe now that it's raining, maybe people will clear out a little bit more. So at the Upper Falls, there was a brewery and a restaurant. And here at the Lower Falls, there's a cafe and a gift shop. Both places have really nice bathrooms, water, fountains, and all of that. Looks like there's also boat rentals available here. Um, prices were $25 for an hour. I didn't get to see what the boats look like at all, but because um, it's blocked off, I assume, because of the impending lightning threat. Prayer of the Woods. I am the heat of your hearth on the cold winter nights, the friendly shade screening you from the summer sun, and my fruits are refreshing drafts quenching your thirst as you journey on. I am the beam that holds your house, the board of your table, the bed on which you lie, and the timber that builds your boat. I am the handle of your hoe, the door of your homestead, the wood of your cradle, and the shell of your coffin. I am the bread of kindness and the flower of beauty. Ye who pass by, listen to my prayer. Harm me not. The lower falls consist of a series of five smaller waterfalls that cascade around a central island. The bridge to the island at the Lower Falls in Dequamanon Falls State Park is relatively new. It was constructed to provide easier access to the island, allowing visitors to explore the falls without needing to rent a rowboat.
The lower falls are not as tall as the upper falls, but they are equally beautiful, if not more beautiful to me. The water here flows gently over the rocks, creating a series of picturesque cascades. Pretty late in the day and the clouds were building, we decided to head back down the road to the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum. Huh? Unfortunately, since we had spent so much time at the falls, it was near to closing, and since it would have cost the three of us $41 to enter, we decided to save it for a different time. This is the same area that the famous Edmund Fitzgerald went down. I was really surprised to see this sailboat out here, especially with the impending storm. Gerald. Off to the side, I was surprised to see the Sini Point Bird Sanctuary Trail. The trail is a haven for bird watchers and nature enthusiasts alike. The Sini National Wildlife Refuge spans over 95,000 acres and provides a rich mosaic of marshes, swamps, bogs, and forests, creating the perfect habitat for over 200 species of birds. I actually had one bird watcher come over and excitedly point out some piping plovers, which are a federally endangered species. These birds are characterized by their pale brown and white plumage and the distinctive black band across their forehead and chest. They typically nest on sandy or gravelly beaches, making the diverse habitats of the Sini National Wildlife Refuge an ideal spot for them. Conservation efforts here are crucial in helping to protect and increase their population. As you can tell, the wind really started picking up here. Now we could tell that cooking over the campfire as planned was not in the cards for tonight. We headed back towards Paradise to the Wheelhouse Diner and luckily made it inside and were seated before a torrential downpour. Unfortunately for everyone outside that was seated under the canopies, they did not fare so well with the canopies collapsing under the weight of the rain. After a very long but fun day, we were just happy to make it back to our camper and settle in to listen to the rain on the roof as we fell asleep.
have two-hearted beer. At the moment, the two-hearted, so that would be my big life goal.